so the Super Mario movie is out and everyone, and I mean everyone's watching it, and guess what? They're loving it, bro. So this movie is not meant for someone that doesn't know jack crap about the movie. And Nintendo said they're dropping all kinds of freaking Easter eggs. Anyone that grew up with Mario is going to love this thing. So what's the problem? Problem is that this movie is made for the fans. They're not patterning for the regular as normies. Ooh. They have been complaining that this movie makes no damn sense and that's perfect because they're giving you nostalgia, sir. And honestly, it's amazing. There's no logic to this thing. So it's a video game. So if you're coming in not knowing Jack Crab and who the hell is this Italian plumber, then the movie's not for you. You need Bruh. to open up your brain, you know, and have some fun but you know how it is these days people with the wokeness and everything can't enjoy something simple sir it always gotta be complicated so in this episode we're gonna talk about why mario still hasn't realized that bowser isn't kidnapping the princess instead princess gets picked up by bowser god oh, dang. hell no <laughs> So like I said, it's a movie made for fans. This thing is pure fan service. And it's a it's a breath of fresh air, to be honest, since we have all these critics sounding dumb as hell. I mean, simply because they're not about this movie. That simple. This is a breath of fresh air in today's normie movie. So everyone giving this movie a bad review is hilarious because this movie is a focus movie for Nintendo fans. And for once in this woke identity politics nonsense movie era, Beta. there's nothing of that in this movie. It's just pure fun. If you're gonna see the Mario sound effects, the ta -da 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 -da, you know, everything, you're just gonna love it. And you don't have to worry. I mean, we have people complaining why Bowser is so aggressive and that Bowser is either a, a stalker or a simp. And you're like, oh my God, people, get over yourself. Stop putting your woke agenda in this movie. Nintendo essentially said, screw you guys. We're just going to make a wholesome fun movie. And they did it. So, hurrah. I mean, while everyone's talking about politics right now, you know, we have the, the whole Donald Trump stuff. So, we just want to have fun, bro. We're tired of all this stuff. Regardless of what position you are with politics, and people just want to go watch a movie. You can't even watch a movie nowadays because you got to be worried about that. They're going to put some kind of weird stuff in there. Mario doesn't have none of that. So, sorry, this movie isn't about you guys. If you haven't heard of Bowser, you wouldn't realize how a normie you sound like. So, yeah. <laughs> All the critics got it. a bad review simply because the normies and they, they expect the movie to explain everything to them. They're simply not. So there's no surprise for the critic score in Rotten Tomato that it's a 54%, right? The critics are complaining about it. <laughs> there's no character development. There's nothing. And it's like, of course not. It's Mario, bro. It's back and boring, so you're not going to get it. So while everyone else is giving it a 96%, it's like, because this is fun. And you know it has heavy nostalgia, and the movie for it's a movie for the freaking family. And on top of that, you don't gotta work worry about going back home and explaining some woke thing that you don't know what it is. And you have to explain it to your kids. The whole point, I mean, is to have some fun. So, on top of that, we have former Luigi actor John Leguizano explaining. He said, and "Remember, this is the guy from the 19 whatever." A bombshell of Mario. He oh, said, hell, hell no, no watching Super Mario Bros. Because they messed up with the whole, you know, gender and there's no inclusion. Stop in the cap. Bro, cry me a river and tell me that you washed up without telling me you washed up. I mean, Mr. Le Leguizano literally said, this is his quote. No, I will not be watching. They could have included Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> character Liguizano said like I was groundbreaking and then they stopped the groundbreaking they messed up the inclusion they disincluded just cast some Latin folk where 20% of the population the largest people of color group and were underappreciated so what does it say this movie is not meant for you, sir. So stay <laughs> woke and stay broke in Hollywood. So this is for all the rest of the people that want to have something fun to watch, which is not Mr. Liguizano. He's still living and back in the 90s. And I mean, to, to talk some crap about this Mario movie, dude, the 19 whatever version, 
That one was hot garbage. It had nothing to do with Mario versus this one is literally everything. Pure Mario. So, I mean, you simply need something you can just turn off your brain, bring your kids, not have to worry about some weird identity politics crap to show up in the big screen. Haram! To explain to your kids the, you know, drive home while, you know, defeating the point of watching the movie to get away in the first place. So, while every damn critic that is in the unknown with the Mario, the people have already spoken that the Super Mario Bros. movie earned a whopping 67 million in the film's worldwide opening day, bro. I mean, damn, Marvel should be ashamed of themselves. Marvel was like the heavy hitter. Now this Nintendo thing came out and people are enjoying it. I mean, the they are they're the same people that hated Sonic, but when they listened to you know the people and they came back with a new classic looking Sonic, it paid off greatly. So the point of the moral thing is stop listening to critics and listen to the people that generally want to watch the movie. So yeah, it's a movie that isn't too deep, meaning it's simply fun. A movie with Mario trying to take down Bowser. Period! And that's it! It's not that complicated, sir. I mean, well, giving the Buzz Lightyear a movie with woke crap and giving it a positive review. Bruh. And then you have something like this that doesn't have any woke agenda. All of a sudden, we know we have a big problem with it. It's, <laughs> it's really obvious, sir. So yeah, if you know how Rotten Tomato scores work, I mean, the critics hate it, most likely. They're review bombing because of the critic part. Well, Beta. People that actually want to watch the movie will enjoy it. So remember, critic scores don't matter anymore. Now it's better to go with what the fans actually say. So what do you guys think, huh? Were you guys going to watch the movie or are you guys going to go with the critic side that are more worried about the inclusion rather than you <laughs> loving the movie in the first place? So if you made it this far, bro, give me a like and... If you like the dumbass things I say, bro, subscribe, and that'll be all. Team Mama now.